Welcome back to the SS Maynard YouTube channel, station, whatever you want to call it. It's been a while, but uh, I figured um, let's go ahead and do a video, right? Well, as you know, maybe you know or don't know, don't really care, I'm a pipe smoker, smoke tobacco out of a pipe, not like, you know, one of those potheads that you find every day. Nowadays, uh, God, what has happened to the world? 20, 2018, and we're supposed to be like as far advanced as we can, and all everybody wants to do is get numb and sit on the couch and do nothing. Lame. Well, anyways, let's get back to tobacco pipes. So, if you want to start smoking a tobacco pipe, we'll try to we'll try to focus the video on. Tobacco pipes, like let's start smoking a tobacco pipe. I want to start smoking a tobacco pipe. That could be kind of cool. You know what? I saw a guy smoking a pipe the other day and that looked pretty nice. I think I'm going to do that. Well, that's what I'm here to help you do. Bring class back to the world and the internet one day at a time. That's right. Okay, so if you want to start smoking a pipe, you could have a smooth briar pipe. Smooth refers to the finish on the pipe. This is a really nice pipe. This is one of my newest pipes and I really like it. I bought this thing uh, because I like the bowl size. I smoke a lot. Like I'll smoke more than 10 bowls a day probably. So a smaller pipe um, definitely helps conserve tobacco because this stuff is kind of expensive. Uh, anyways, that's a smooth briar pipe. Here's what we would call a rusticated or dremeled, you know, whatever they call it, rusticated, quote unquote, bunny ears. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, but, um, yeah, whatever. Same thing as this. No difference. It's a style, an aesthetics thing. Pick whatever you like and go with it. Don't let some asshole on the internet tell you that, oh, you have to have this brand of pipe or that brand of pipe or whatever. Um, you know what? At the end of the day, I bet you either one of these pipes smokes just as good, if not better, than pipes that cost 10 times as much. And, like, seriously, send me a pipe that costs... 10 times as much as either one of these and I'll put it to the test and I'll let you know what I think because guess what in the end at the very end of the day when you're all said and done it's personal preference okay so here's two examples we have a smooth imported briar pipe we have a rusticated imported briar pipe now that just means the briar's imported. The the damn thing's actually made here in the United States, but the wood, the briar, is actually imported. Great, awesome. Let's get those out of the way. Oh geez. Or your other option would be a raw, old, nasty corn cob. And I don't say nasty because they're a nasty pipe to smoke. This is actually probably the best pipe I have ever smoked. This was the first pipe I had. I uh, have not used it in a long time. It did not come with this little stainless steel flash, flashy looking ferrule. It uh, came without that. But I, I made that and I put that on there just to give it a little bit more class world. Anyways, standard corn cob pipe. Again, grown and made here in America. And guess what? It came with a sticker on the bottom that looked just like this sticker, for your information. But guess what? It had a hardwood bottom. They don't make this pipe anymore. They, they don't. I've looked for it forever. But anyways, Missouri Meerschaum, yeah, corncob pipes. That's the only place to go for a corncob pipe. Great place. But anyways, new production. This one. What's all that white crap on it? Oh! That's plaster of Paris. They pack that into the open cells of the corn cob pipe. Open cells of the pipe. In claims that, oh, it smokes cooler. It stays cooler while you smoke. It's cooler to the hand. It's cooler while you smoke it. Uh, great stuff. You know, yeah. And yeah, it works. I mean, this is uh, this is one of two of the first uh, filled 
filled, being filled with plaster of Paris, uh, pipes that I have used, corn cob pipes that I've used, and I don't have any complaints other than uh, Missouri Mersham, you effing idiots, you put finish, shellac, clear coat, whatever, inside the bowl. Stop doing that. That is absolutely ridiculous. That just ruins the pipe. And it's a pain in the ass to clean that shit out every time you get a brand new pipe. Oh, yeah, I got a brand new pipe. Let me uh, detail it before I use it. Sucks. But anyways, it's doable. And it's a damn good pipe to smoke out of. This is a damn good pipe to smoke out of. It's got this big crack here. It's actually not a crack. It's a separation. Uh, but guess what? It doesn't leak smoke. I can put my thumb over it, and I cannot blow smoke out of that when I blow into the stem with a lit bowl. This is a damn good pipe. This actually survived being shot out of a compound bow uh, and then frozen overnight outside and stomped into the mud. Amazing pipe. Uh, your briar pipe is not going to live through that. This one did. I cleaned it up with a toothbrush, some sandpaper, and a scraper. Good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Corn cob pipes are the shit. They rock. Briar pipes are good too, but to each his own. But these are really cheap. If you want to start smoking a pipe, go check out Missouri Mersham corn cob pipes. Or I think it's just corn cob. What is it like corn cob pipe? I don't know. To punch in Missouri Mersham to Google because everybody's got a smartphone in their hands. Stop being a retard. Punch that stuff in and you'll find them. Missouri Mersham right here in the USA. Amazing. And guess what? Uh, they're in Missouri, if you couldn't already figure that out. Great pipes, right? They got different styles of stems. They got different styles of bowls. Awesome stuff. Great. And then, obviously, you have the briars that we talked about a minute ago. But if you want to start smoking a pipe, so you need to pick a pipe. Pick ten pipes. doesn't really matter. Any pipe you want. Just pick one. Pick a couple. Try it out. If you don't like it, buy another one borrow one from somebody whatever does not matter the other thing you're going to need primarily is a poker or a stir tool now the easiest thing probably and actually maybe not i mean this is 2018 who has a paper clip i have paper clips because i'm old but anyways uh you take a paper clip and you need a stir stool well you can use it just like that you can use it to clean it you can use it to uh stir your bowl uh, to help keep it smoking, keep it going. Um, you can, you know, fold it out about 90 degrees or fold full, doesn't matter. Grab hold of both ends or, you know, the, uh, the loose end, loose end and the closed end. Hold both those wires and bend it up. And if you can get it right, you could actually fit that in your bowl and kind of use it as a makeshift tamper. So a tamper is to tamp the tobacco down while you're smoking it. And uh, that that would probably be plenty adequate to get you started, get you by. If you want a more uh, specialized um, or more productive pick tool, um, uh, you know, poker, stir stick, bend the damn thing out straight and guess what? You have a pick tool or a stir stick. Amazing. I bet you that idea is as old as paper clips. Like, really, I didn't invent that. That's just, use your brain. If you don't have a paper clip, or you don't want to use a paper clip, you know what you could do? You could go grab a screw, or a nail, or a pin, or whatever. And the cool thing about something with a head on it, like a screw or a nail, you have a tamper, so you can tamp the bowl, tamp it down, get it a little bit packed in to get rid of those air pockets or voids from smoking it you know you, you tamp the tobacco down and it continues to smoke for a bit longer and, and more thoroughly burn all that tobacco you can use the pointed end to stir poke scrape and on a screw you can actually use the uh, threads of that screw and you can press it into the side of the bowl and you can drag it up and down as a scraper to help clean the carbon off the inside of the bowl so that's an option. So what do you need? You need a pipe. You need a pipe. You need a tamper. You need a poker. And you need a scraper. Awesome. Screw, nail, uh, toothpick, bamboo skewer. They all work. Uh, or you could get a little bit more fancy and cut a piece of bamboo glue some uh, metal cups 
Uh, I will not say what these are. If you're smart enough to know what these are on the ends of this piece of bamboo, good for you. Thumbs up, genius. If you're not, well, you probably don't even need to know, and I'm not even going to waste my time telling you. Put a poker in it. This is uh, pretty long. It will get down to the bottom of any bowl, tobacco pipe bowl, that I have ever encountered. It's fairly large diameter. This is actually a stainless steel hinge pin out of a hinge. That's why it's called a hinge pin. I polish it. I put a point on it so that I could dig, scrape, whatever. This itself works as a tamper. Or if all I need is a tamper, I don't have to pull the skewer, scraper, poker out. I can use this end as a tamper. I can use this end as a tamper. And when I need a pick tool or a poker tool, stir stick, I just pull it right out. It fits down on there quite nicely. Locks in. These don't fall apart. They don't fall apart. I, this is a custom piece made by me. You want one? Good luck. You're going to have to really know me well to get me to make you one of those. Eh, maybe not so well, but it'll take some convincing. So you need a pipe, you need a poker, you can make one, you can find one, whatever. You also need a fire source. Uh, I like a Bic lighter. Why? I get about a month and a half of the out of a Bic lighter, and I smoke about 10, 12 bowls, sometimes more, every single day. And that's more than one light per bowl, I guarantee it. Everybody says wooden matches, and honestly, wooden matches are probably the best thing to use. In my lifestyle, a uh, big lighter is just far more practical to use. But also, this little case, and that one's hanging on tight. Yeah, there we go. So we got a big lighter. We got this little stupid ass case. Well, that goes in there. Bam, that's cool. And what does that do for your lighter? I'll tell you. And this is why I'm, I'm going to have to thank all you potheads out there because um, you really helped me out with this because now everybody who thinks pipes thinks potheads. Great. Well, uh, you made a product or somebody made a product that I guarantee was 100% marketed towards potheads or ideally marketed towards potheads. And guess what? It's a perfect pipe smoking tool. Eh, not perfect. It's a good sm pipe smoking tool. So you have this tamper on here doesn't really work if you're past half a bowl or a third of a bowl no matter what pipe you have this is just way too short but it does have a metal end it's chrome plated brass awesome has this bottle opener this thing I've never been able to open a bottle with this the way it was intended to that's why it's got all these chips in the bottom I use it just like the bottom of a regular big lighter you know that just whatever but awesomely enough it has this pick tool this tool is probably, a pick tool is probably more important than a tamper, in my opinion. Um, because a pick tool being smaller may take you more times to tamp it, poke it, whatever. But you can kind of achieve the same results as a tamper. So anyways, this little lighter case, uh, we have a tamper, we have a pick tool. A uh, pick tool can be used to aid in uh, more consistent burn in your tobacco load or plug or bowl. Uh, also, it can be helped or used to help clean and then obviously you have your Bic lighter and these things are uh, really reliable and I don't even want to hear any crap about how a Zippo pipe lighter is better all you can taste after you use a lighter fluid ignited or fuel lighter fluid fueled lighter of any type brand I don't care if it's lighter fluid that you squeeze out of a can into your into your lighter and you close it up and you light it all you can taste is your lighter you're not tasting tobacco. Uh, a wooden match, you light it, you let the sulfur and whatever else is in there burn off. You still have a flame, but when the flame is only burning the wood stick, then you light your tobacco. That's probably going to yield you the best flavor results. And you're good to go. But uh, this is a cool tool. This is an awesome tool. Love this thing. Because, well, I made it, and so I made it for a purpose and, like, with an idea in mind, and it fit the bill perfectly because I made it perfectly for the purpose. Weird how that works, right? When you build something to do a job, and it does a job just amazing. Strange, right? Or you find a machinist 
like myself and you happen to just like make a tamper and this works really cool because you can tamp that whole damn bowl in one go if your bowl is big enough but that's the problem this one's like it's big it's like three quarters of an inch and yeah, it's half of an inch but it has some uh, chuck flats on the end of that guy there it's got three flats on it and so you can use that and that's plenty big enough for a tamper kind of a pain to carry that in your pocket though because like everybody looks at it and goes what the f is that then you have to explain it to them but really when you're smoking a pipe in 2018 everybody looks at you weird anyway hell in 2012 when you're smoking a pipe everybody looks at you like uh what are you doing you're in public and you're like it's a tobacco pipe and they go no way um the other thing i recommend is getting pipe cleaners pipe cleaners are awesome i have a fancy holder go ahead go find a fancy holder and you'll feel like you're like king shit or something i don't know uh, but you got these pipe cleaners. They were good for cleaning out uh, the What is that the bit the bit the stummel and most stummels um, You got to take a pipe cleaner and fold it in half and get it inside the stummel twist it around move it back and forth Whatever uh, you can also use it to kind of poke in the bowl or when you're done smoking Especially if you if you have a non-filtered pipe like this pipe has a filter, right? awesome I love filtered pipes I hate unfiltered pipes I just I hate the spit I hate the gurgle I hate how uh, much extra heat you get but anyways if you have a non-filtered pipe you could do it with one of these two I guess stick the pipe cleaner down into the pipe when you're done smoking and let it sit the pipe cleaner being cotton will help absorb moisture and then the last thing you need for good pipe smoking is tobacco Carter Hall Borkham Riff those are my two personal like go-to's right and I guess the other one is like Prince Albert right the Borkham Riff is in a total different class than like Carter Hall and Prince Albert and most pipe snobs are gonna go oh my god those are garbage blah 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 well you know what go F yourself uh, if you're of that mindset because to each his own and it's like everything else in the world it's all personal preference I'm not gonna spend forty dollars for three ounces of tobacco because Peterson made it. You can go F yourself straight in the face. Um, smoke a tobacco you like. Try different ones. There's nothing wrong with that. You're going to spend the money on tobacco anyway if you're doing it. Uh, so give it a shot. See what you think. Whatever. No harm, no foul. Figure out what you like. Don't, don't take anybody else's word for it. Because all I'm here to tell you is you need a pipe. If you want to smoke a pipe, you need a pipe. Okay, well then the next thing is, get some tobacco. Then after that, fashion yourself a pipe tool of some kind. Doesn't matter, find one, get one, meh. And then, pipe cleaners. Also, it would be good to have filters if you have a filtered pipe, so you can, you know, experiment with swapping them out, uh, maybe after every smoke, if that's your style. Uh, filters, these are the filters I use. They're a uh, little plastic plastic wrapped you know so there's plastic on the outside it helps keep them together so when they get saturated with moisture you can pull them out of the pipe a lot of people say oh well that's just full of spit you know from your mouth uh you're retarded are, are you sitting there blowing through your pipe and spitting through your pipe no you're sucking on the pipe and drawing the smoke from the bowl through the bowl into the stummel and bit where that filter resides, and that's all the humidity that's coming through, one, from the air, two, from the fact that you're burning a biomaterial, there's moisture in that, the filter catches it. It also probably catches some nicotine, whatever, uh, but it really helps with moisture, and it kind of smooths out the smoke. It slows the smoke down, it takes some heat out of the smoke, it makes a more enjoyable smoke. Uh, in, in my opinion, fucking YouTube, Anyways, uh, they're coated in plastic, they're rolled paper, they have all these little fingers that poke down inside the tube to help catch particles and stuff. That's another big benefit of a filter. Uh, Non-filtered pipes, you, everything you got in that bowl eventually may come through into your mouth and it's going to taste like ass. Ass, ass, ass. You need a pipe. You need a pipe tool. You need a lighter. You might need some filters. You're more than likely going to need some tobacco. And some pipe cleaners, maybe. 
Uh, rum is never a bad idea. Uh, tobacco and rum go together really well. Also, like one of my personal go-tos. Tobacco and red wine. Amazing. Rocky Patel cigars and red wine. Amazing. Anyways, that's my thoughts on smoking a pipe. Don't let somebody tell you you have to buy the fancy stuff or you have to buy the cheap stuff. Buy what you like. Buy what you want. Buy what fits what you believe your style is. And experiment with different tobaccos. And have a wonderful experience smoking your tobacco pipe. And help me and the few others around the world bring some class back into life that we know today. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.